If you're a parent, chances are there's some type of video gaming system in your house right now. While they can lead to hours of family fun, they can also be a cause for concern. Once again, here's Rod Starnes to show why these systems aren't all fun and games when it comes to your child's health. Twelve-year-old twins Marshall and Parker love video games. They've played video games for years now, and they graduate from different technologies to new technologies that keep coming out. And then they love to do Wii, and they love their Xbox. The boys also have other interests. And they're in band, and they like to play golf, and they like to run around in the park. As a parent, I really like to keep pushing them to be diverse in their interest. According to the experts, Tammy is doing the right thing to avoid problems caused by video games. Balance is a great word to use when we talk about video games. Video games by nature are not necessarily bad or good. But what we'd like to do is to say, let's put them in a framework and say, my child has an opportunity to use video games for a maximum of one hour a day. In his practice as a pediatric and adult endocrinologist, Dr. Cohen sees firsthand the problems caused by what he calls too much screen time. That includes time spent in front of a TV, video game, or computer. It's a big concern. It's a concern for parents, for kids as they grow up, for the teachers, and for our society as a whole with regard to health. A recent study showed kids between the ages of 8 and 18 spend about 44 hours a week in front of some kind of screen. The only activity kids do more of is sleep. Kids who watch three hours or more of screen time per day have a greater than 50 percent increased incidence of obesity than kids who watch less than two hours of screen time per day. It's pediatric obesity becoming a problem which leads to a rapid increase in diabetes, high blood pressure, severe arthritis, heart problems. We have to nip it in the bud by dramatically changing the behavior of our children. But what about the new generation of video games like Wii that gets you up and moving? I think that it's a great idea and I would uh, encourage that type of gaming where somebody is actually getting their heart rate 20 beats per minute faster than your normal heart rate. But don't forget that an hour a day is really sufficient for any of these activities because you're f overly focusing on one small segment of a child's life. So what's a parent to do? Here are some tips for healthy video game use. In addition to limiting screen time, experts also recommend keeping any video games, TVs, or computers in common areas. That's something that Tammy practices in her home. You know what they're doing and you sit down with a show or a video game and you just sit there with them to know exactly what's coming into their eyes and their ears. Check the rating on the video games and make sure that they are appropriate for the age of your child. And make sure that you offer appealing alternatives to screen time. Spend more time with your child. Go walking with him. Play games. Have fun. Teach. Learn. Read together. There are a lot of wonderful activities that you can do great advice that your kids will thank you for later. You just lay down boundaries and sometimes it is convenient to have a babysitter in the form of a video game but it's not a rewarding sort of exchange because you'll pay for it in the long run. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.